Welcome to a very cold week. Um, I'm filming the intro on Friday um, because I forgot to do it at the beginning of the week. So, hello, welcome. We've got some BRMZR Express progress. We've got some Disco um, progress. And I'm not sure what else, can't remember. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let's get started. I've got the brake pipe off. It's just a couple of star bolts holding it on the hub. And on the axle, I've clamped off the brake hose so I can undo it at this end, pull it out of the way, put the new one back on, and then quickly swap it over at that end. So that is the plan, fingers crossed. And the new one's all on. There we go. It has got that kink in, the other side has as well. So we've just got to bleed it out now, get the vacuum bleeder on the go. And then, uh, yeah, this should be done and it'll just need a valet ready to sell. Right then, so with the Mariva brake pipe done, uh, it's time to get back on the ZR Express. So it's now on the lift, the wrong way round. Um, so then I've got all the room there to put the engine in. First job I'm gonna do while it's light to that end is change the rear beam and probably the tank. And then we will move on to the front. So first job, get that beam off. Right, so I'm trying to get the old um, drum handbrake cables out and I was undoing the bolts inside and as you can see, the captive nut on that has come off. So I've got to cut that off and then I'll have to probably rivet nut that um, when I put it back together. So I've got to cut that off before I can pull the handbrake cables out. So I'm gonna get that done. All right, so I've undone the three bolts either side that hold the, the beam on. Uh, I've just got to go down the boot and undo the top bit. Uh, I'll do it that way so then I can lower the car all the way to the floor, drop, undo the, top ones and it'll just sit on the floor and then lift the car out of the way because obviously if you undo them first you've then got to support it and lower it etc so that's the way i do it shot myself in the foot here a bit by undoing the by doing all the interior but just undone the one screw down there and um yeah undone them both sides so once the new ones back in they can all go back in so it's not the end of the world right let's lift the car off the ground Right, that's the tank straps off, but both hooks snapped. I tried to be as careful as I could. I used a ratchet instead of an air gun. Um, one started moving really nicely, all of a sudden stopped, one more turn, snap. Um, the other one just was a pain. So yeah, I'm gonna have to think outside the box. I don't know if they're even still available. I know the ones on the BRM snapped as well. So yes, we might have to be a bit creative with that. So tank coming down now. Right, now the tank's out, I can get to the um, brake lines as well. So I'm gonna change the brake lines that run from each side and go down there because whoever's been here before has ruined these ones that they're all folded back there on themselves, including the fuel line. So it's a good job I took the ones off the uh, ZR. So I'm gonna change all them while we're here. Right, I've put some new lines under there. Um, obviously ain't the straightest, but it is what it is. Um, they all clip on the original clip, so I didn't do too bad. Um, I'll just terminate the ends when I get to it. That means I can put the, the other tank back in and the um, disc rear axle. Obviously, I can get to those there. And they went all the way along the um, floor, but I've, I've put joints here. So at least bits can be changed. I haven't got to change a whole lot. So yeah. Right, let's get the other tank out and on. Right, so the tank's back in sort of temporarily. I've cut down some exhaust clamps and hooked them in and bolted them down for now, just to hold the tank in place. When I can find the right clamps, I can just easily swap them over in situ. Um, so my main priority was to get the tank in and then get the axle and all that back on. And as I say, in the future, once I find some, because I can't get any today, obviously, it would hold me up. I can just literally swap one at a time. So, right, next job. Okay, we now have the BRM disc beam on with the BRM suspension. Um, so we've just got to go around and put obviously the sensors on and bits and pieces like that, handbrake cables, etc. But yeah, that's there now, that's the result. Right, so we've got the cables in. You can see them just there. Tanks in, um, beams in. Just got to sort the brake lines out. Need to order some new brake hoses, the actual flexes. Um, and then, yeah, so now I'm gonna leave those as they are. Um, and we will turn around and turn our attention to dropping the front subframes. So that's what's got to come out next. Right, so the forklift is supporting the front one. Um, I forgot, obviously I haven't undone the top ones yet, so they're still hanging by there. So we can lower this whole lot down 
and then uh, I'll just drop the top bolts on the top mounts and then they'll sit on that on the forks and then we can lift the car up and pull them out so that's what we'll do okay so both of those subframes are out um, I have put the fuel and brake pipes through there I've just got to put an extra join on there um, so I went obviously got the other front subframe out and then remembered I've got to put the engine in first so I need to go around tomorrow it's the end of the day now um, tidy everything up, put everything on that I've got, sort out all the bits I've got, um, and then get ready to pull the engine out, and then uh, lift it in the hole. So, anyway, that's tomorrow's job. See you in the morning. Morning, uh, Tuesday. Just been over to look at a couple of discoveries that are being scrapped, um, or they have been scrapped, they're actually at the scrapyard, and the guy knows that I do land drivers and said what I'd be interested, so I've been over, had a look, left an offer. Unfortunately, one of them was grabbed off the uh, the trailer that they were brought in on, uh, even though he tried to stop the man grabbing them, but he managed to save one from being grabbed, but not the other one. So my obviously uh, offer is based on that because getting that home is gonna be awkward because it is shredded to, to buggery. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. It might not come off, might do. Anyway, uh, today uh, I am gonna get back on this, but I just wanna have a bit of a clear out first. Um, all the bits that have come off it that I don't want anymore, I wanna chuck in the BRM shell to get them off the floor. So first job is gonna be a couple of hours sorting all that out, um, and then we'll get back on that. The engine is in. It's on its mounts. Well, three of them until the subframes go on. Um, yeah, I forgot to film it going and I mean, it's nothing exciting. You just lower the car down on the engine and bolt it in. So yeah, um, I've whacked the master back in and the lines are loose, ready for the ABS um, pump to go back on. Um, so what I'll do tomorrow morning is I'll get all the subframes on, get the struts on and get it in a rolling position. And then it can have all the rest of the bits put on after that. So yeah, not bad progress this afternoon it is now wednesday and i've bought a discovery well the first discovery of the day oh wrong one there we go that's the one that got picked up by the uh, crusher so it got picked up put on my trailer and they ripped the roof off as best they could so there wasn't loads of bits hanging about so yeah that was quite a dodgy one but anyway it's back now i only want the running gear now we're going to load up the BRM, take that to the scrapyard and pick up the other one, which at the moment is complete. From up here, you can really see the destruction that the grab did, but that's all right. We don't need any of the rest of that. Poor old BRM. And here's the other one. Um, in the end, we did have to grab it to get it on the trailer because a forklift couldn't lift it over the wheel arches. So yeah, here is the other one. Again, we don't care what the uh, rest of it's like. We're only interested in the running gear, so yeah. We will do the other one first and then come back and get this one done. Over there, I have a battery on charge uh, and I've put the front on axle stands for now so I can get underneath and undo the prop shafts and maybe the exhaust and the gearbox mounts, or well, and the engine mounts to be fair. Um, and then I need to strip all the front out. So I'll take the grill out, headlights, whatever, cut the slam panel out. And then we can start thinking about getting the whole lot out. I also need to drop the um, gear selectors uh, and the handbrake. But first thing before, well, not so before, I wanna strip, strip the prop shafts off and the front end off. But before I start removing it, I wanna use that battery and see if we can get it to fire um, and then we can advertise it as a good running engine. So let's get on. Right, we are set up. Um, we have the battery on. I have all the wires that I need to get it running. So let's have a go and see if it'll fire up.
Right, I've decided I am too old to be climbing on the floor, especially as it's freezing. So what I've done now, I've got wheels on, I'm gonna go back onto that, get that rolling, get that off the ramp, get this on the ramp and get the engine out of that way. I'm gonna take the transfer box off, take the gearbox off, then lift the engine out. Normally I would obviously take the whole body off, but as this is so twisted and knackered, uh, and the body hasn't come off the chassis, that tells me it's gonna fight some more and I can't be doing with that either. So if I lift it up in the air, I can have the transfer box off, then take the gearbox off the engine, then lift the engine out the top of the front. So that's the plan. So let's get the ZR rolling. The front lower subframe back on, the struts are back on, steering rack's all connected, it's all connected to the column. We've got wheels on. Um, so now I can get it off the ramp, get it back over there, get this out, the dis discover it and get it on here. Obviously now my trailer's gone, I don't have a trailer of a winch. So we're gonna have to try and use the Defender pretty much strapped to the uh, front bumper of that, probably with a winch on the towing eye and then using the winch bumper as sort of a, a brake and a push, pull it out and then bring it in this door. And then this has got to go next door. So yes, don't quite know how I'm going to do it. Obviously with the trailer, it was easy. Winch one up, drop it off. Winch one up, drop it off. Simple, but I don't have that anymore. Shot myself in the foot a bit really, but never mind. We didn't know these discos were coming. So let's have some lunch and then we'll get on with it. Okay, we got it on the lift, but this is why I wanted to get it on the lift, because just look at it under here. It is absolutely caked in mud, so I was getting it all in my eyes, all in my face, um, trying to get things undone. So at least here, I can easily get the exhaust off and then start taking the transfer box off if I can find the bolts. But yeah, we'll do it this way. I think this was obviously run through a field before it went to uh, car heaven. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a messy one next week. It's now Friday afternoon, I'll leave this here. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next week when we get on with this one. And then we'll get the blue one in as well. And we'll get on with that. So have a great weekend. See you later.